Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Hope you're having an awesome day. Just want to remind you guys to get yourself the Live A Little merch, Timo Sarji merch, and the links in the descriptions below before they are all gone. I just found out that they're running out quickly, so before you know it, you won't be able to get them anymore. So make sure to get them. Christmas is around the corner. Get one for a friend, for a family member, for your dog. Your dog could wear one if you want. Yep, your dog can wear merch too. It's a new thing nowadays, guys. It's a new trend. Dogs are wearing merch, so get some merch for your dog as well. But anyways, today is officially, I'm out. checking out of this Airbnb here in Fort Lauderdale, actually near Fort Lauderdale. I'm actually not even in Fort Lauderdale. I say these things sometimes just in case some weirdos show up. I don't want weirdos show up. I like awesome people to show up and meet me and say hi to me. I've run into so many of you guys out on the streets, out and about. It's really crazy out here. So I am gonna be moving to another location nearby. This is actually Pompano Beach. And a lot of you guys probably know it, some of you guys might not, but it's about 45 minutes away from Miami. I'm gonna be going somewhere near, hmm, maybe, should I give you guys the truth? Or should I give you guys, okay. I'm gonna be somewhere near Hollywood, Florida. No, I'm gonna be a little bit closer to Miami, Florida. That's where I'm gonna be, okay? But you know what, guys, I enjoyed my time. Well, you know, I barely spent any time in this Airbnb, actually, but I enjoyed my time watching this beautiful view over there, that beautiful, beautiful ocean. Now, my next house that I've rented, it does not have the ocean as a view, but it's got something crazier, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Well, wait a second. It's not crazier than the ocean, but it is a really beautiful view nonetheless, and something I've never really stayed in when it comes to Airbnb, so this should be interesting. Such a beautiful day. Oh, my God. What the hell is this thing? What? That's like a freaking skull in this guy's car. That's crazy. It's so beautiful out there because you can see and hear all the birds. It's currently the next day, and I'm just kind of frustrated over what happened last night. Um, I tried to clean it off, I tried to buff it off, but it wouldn't come off, and person hit my car, really pissed off about it. Wasn't really in the mood to vlog it last night, but let me just show you guys what happened over here. This is exactly where they, they hit me. So, you know, it's paint, paint damage, but, you know, thank God there's no like big dents or crazy big dings on the truck. It's just paint damage, that's all it is. Uh, it could have been worse, I know, but honestly, it's still a frustration because I've had this truck for literally two weeks. Two weeks, or a little bit more than two weeks. You know, brand spanking new, no mileage on it when I got it. It was literally impeccable, and now I have a blemish on my door. Honestly, I give respect to Chevrolet because when that person hit my truck, I was in it, and it felt really hard. Like, it felt like he probably destroyed my damn freaking door. Now, I didn't check it right away because I gave chase right away. And unfortunately, I couldn't catch up to whoever the it was that hit my car. And if I did, I would have probably just like ran them over or something. No, not gonna lie, I was pretty furious. Like, if you're gonna hit someone's car, at least have the decency to stop and apologize. Honestly, that's the only damage I have. If they actually apologize, I would have just been like, all right, no problem. I can just like buff that out or something, like actually. But they made me chase after them for no freaking reason. I literally chased them for like a freaking hour looking around at nighttime, wasted all my time. I didn't end up finding them, which really, really sucks. But you know what guys, it is what it is, it happens out here in freaking Florida, people drive crazy. We gotta be careful, that's all we gotta do, is we gotta try to be careful, and if you hit someone, stop. Because you never know, they're not not—they're not gonna eat you or kill you, they're just gonna, you know, either, if it's really bad damage, exchange information, or, you know, let you off the hook, and I would've let them off the hook, easy. Jumping into the day, I just got to my new Airbnb, and I have not seen it just yet, but oh my god, I see a really cool, beautiful view out there. Ho <laughs> ho! Now you guys know, anytime I go to an Airbnb, I always like to check them, always like to film everything, just to make sure nothing's like destroyed, nothing's dirty, because I've had Airbnbs where, that try to like charge me for things that I didn't break or didn't do, but here it is, guys. Here's the new spot that I'm gonna be staying. Hey, this is really nice. I actually haven't seen this yet. All right, we got a nice kitchen over here. We got a nice dining table. This is all for me, by the way. I'm here by myself. But I just need a place to, you know, you guys know me, to spread out, to relax. That other place I was in was kind of tiny. It was right on the beach, which was absolutely insane. I would definitely go back there, even though it was tiny, but it wasn't available for these next few days that I'm gonna be here. Um, got myself a couch, which is cool. Dining table, which is cool. Kitchen, which is cool. What do we got here? We got a, a bathroom over here. We took that view. I'm not, thank God you guys can't see that just yet because that view is unreal. I haven't even looked at it yet. But we got another, um, what do we get? We got more bedrooms. Bunk bed here. I don't know why I would need that, but love the floors, by the way. Check it out. Ooh, we got a master bedroom with a king and my own bathroom. Well, obviously, I mean, I, got, I get to use all the bathrooms in here, I guess. This is cool, though. This is a really clean place. Like, 
I can, I mean, I can see like, you know, the details on the edges. Oh my God, that view, holy. All right, yo, do you guys wanna see the view? This is nice. Ooh, there's kayaks for me to use as well. Okay, let me show you guys the view. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've checked the Airbnb. It doesn't look like anything's out of whack, out of the ordinary. Doesn't look like there's anyone waiting for me inside trying to kill me. Things look clean in here. Bathroom looks clean, which is really important to me. You know, bedroom looks clean because these are really important things. Because if you actually get into an Airbnb, a couple days later, you notice something's broken or and you just never said anything from day one, then Things are, you know, they might try to charge you for that because like a lot, of, a lot of these guys are shady. They'll try to do something. Hell yeah, washer and dryer. I haven't done laundry since I left Canada. Like literally, I gotta do laundry ASAP. And I don't know how to do laundry, you know, so I'm gonna have to reteach myself all over again. All right, let's go, let's go show you guys the view. This view is unbelievable. Are you guys ready to see this view? In three, two, one, let's go. Hey, we got a lake over here. That's so cool. Check it out, guys. I got a whole lake. Probably has alligators in it, to be honest. So I'm probably not gonna swim in it. But if I wanted to, I could kayak. So yeah, there's that. Maybe. I mean, honestly, I don't even need to kayak. I can just like look at it. <laughs> but I, I might. I might. We'll see. We got a hammock over here. Oh yeah. What more could you want in life? You got yourself a hammock. Is it gonna hold me though? Okay. Let's see if this works out for me. Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna put you guys down. All right, let's let's see if we can do this. Whoa. I feel like it's gonna break any second now. <laughs> oh man! All right, this is comfortable. I'm just gonna sit here for like the next 20 minutes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> So the plan for today is to head to the beach, relax, get some tanning in, swim a little bit, and just chill. That's why I'm out here. Noted. Fans making weird noises. <laughs> Wait, is that gonna stop? There's always something. All right, maybe, maybe it's a little bit rusty. Maybe it hasn't started in a long time. I'm just gonna turn it off. <laughs> You're probably wondering, Mo, when are you planning to head back to Canada to see your family, to see Shadia and Rania sooner than you think? Now, I was planning on being here all of December and just being back home for New Year's Eve. Can you stop? Like, I literally turned you off. I think that was off. So I do miss them very much. I, I miss Rania, like, there is no tomorrow. I cannot wait to see her. Um, and obviously I can't wait to see Shadi either. But being a father is so hard when you're traveling. Like my goal was to be out here all December um, and then go back in January and chill with the family a little bit in January and then hit up my Dominican house because it's almost done being renovated. I have some a lot of updates on the renovations coming soon and it's starting to look really, really good. So I can't wait till that's done with so I can go there. Really sorry about this. <laughs> wait, is this like... That's got to be off. This whole vlog is about a damn fan. So yeah, guys, that's why I'm still out here. I'm still going to be here for like, I think, one more week before I start heading home. I'm going to drive probably the entire way home. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely not looking forward to that drive going back home. Okay, you guys will never believe what's outside of my door right now. Now, I was expecting alligators to show up, but instead, we got some ducks. Hello, duckies. What? Hi. Hi, Ducky. Hi. Oh my god, they're friendly too. What? Come here. Come here, Ducky. You guys want popcorn? I'm gonna get you guys some popcorn, okay? Y'all are cool. Chill. I'll get you guys some popcorn. I got popcorn inside. <laughs> if you come and like kiss my hand, I will give you popcorn. Hey, Ducky. Alright, alright. I'll go get you guys popcorn. All right, I'm not trying to give y'all unhealthy food, but I got that skinny pop for you. Okay, here we go, here's some skinny pop. Come and get it. Oh, baby. Oh, what's up? Such a ducky. All right, y'all want more? Here we go. Oh my God. You want some too? Okay, behave. <laughs> this is so cool. I was not, ex I was not expecting this. <laughs> I knew I seen feathers here. Yeah, I just couldn't tell what they were for. All right, whoa, 
Whoa. <laughs> all right, let's see if they're gonna eat this out of my hand. Right. Be gentle, be gentle. <laughs> all right, I got more, I got more. I got more for y'all. All right, be gentle. Hey, 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 be gentle. <laughs> I mean, they are being gentle. Can I, can I touch you? What about you? Let's get you some more. There you go. We got more. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some more. <laughs> you want that skinny pop? This is actually so freaking cool. All right, I'm gonna pretend like I have more popcorn, which I do, but I just don't want to keep wasting it. Oh my God, they're coming back. I just want to pick a white one up. Like I just always wanted to pick up a duck. So let's see, let's see if they fall for it. Here, ducky, come here. I got more popcorn for y'all. <laughs> here, look, I got more. I got more inside the bag. I got more in here. Come on, right here in the bag. Come on. Oh, they know. They know. <laughs> they're like, oh, not interested. You don't actually have food with you. All right, I'll get some more. I'll be back. Y'all want some popcorn? There you go. Here's some more. <laughs> I really want to try and pick one up. All right, look, I got this. I got this right here. There you go. Bag full of it. Yeah. I got a duck. I got a duck. Almost got a duck. Almost got a duck. Come on. Here's some more popcorn for y'all. <laughs> All right, come on. Let me give you guys some more popcorn. Come here. Come on. Here, duckies. Come on. Get some popcorn. Come on. There we go. There we go. I got myself a duck. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be gentle. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I caught me a duck. This is my new friend. I'm going to name him Chuck. <laughs> Chuck the duck. <laughs> Chuck the duck. It's okay. It's okay. We're friends now. I'm going to give you more popcorn, okay? Here you go. Here's some more popcorn for you. There you go. You can have all the popcorn in the world. Just be nice to me. <laughs> the fact that I just caught a freaking duck. I just caught a duck. <laughs> I just caught a duck. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Hi. Hi, Chuck. You want to say hi to everybody? You're famous now. You're famous. This is Chuck, everyone. Meet Chuck. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but we're going to name him Chuck. Okay, and that's all his family members right there. But Chuck is chill, we're just chilling here. Say hi Chuck, all right, you can go bye-bye. <laughs> this is honestly so entertaining. Like I could just sit here all day and feed these damn ducks. <laughs> I really was expecting like an alligator to come up here, but not a bunch of ducks. I guess I'm the duck whisperer now. Where y'all going? Are there any alligators in this water? Let me know if so. I wonder if there is actually like, I mean, this is Florida. You always have to assume there's an alligator here. What are you guys up to? Hey, Chuck. There's Chuck again. Chuck was heavy. He's got the red marks on him. I'm going to name this one. Um, what do I name this one? How about you guys name these ducks in the comments below? Let me know. It's so pretty out here. Whoa, what the hell is going on here? There's like cop cars that just like stopped in the middle of the road. Oh, it's a, a funeral. There's someone important. There's a Hummer. Okay. So literally they just stopped me. Well, not me, but like everyone in traffic. And there's like this big vehicle there. Who is this? That's the weirdest cop car I've seen in my life. It's like green lights. Is this even real? What the hell is this? What is going on here? So they're just letting through everyone that's part of... I guess someone important died. And these guys are part of that. Well, what the hell is SFPS? I never heard of that before. They literally just showed up and like stopped in the middle of the road to let all these cars through. It's almost like the president died or something. What is going on with all these accidents today? I'm just trying to get to the beach and there's like accidents left, right and center. What's going on here? <laughs> Just cops blocking the road for no reason whatsoever. I'm sure there was something here, but it's definitely gone now.
right guys, check it out. I am actually on the beach right now. Look at this, this is so cool. I'm on a beach called Hollywood Beach. Never been here before. And it's really pretty here. It's really massive too. Hey, Mr. Birdies. Y'all be pooping everywhere. Oh, birdies. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is just going in and just swimming a little bit. Just kicking it, hanging out on the beach, relaxing. That's exactly what I came here to do, relax and to chill. Yeah, it's uh, it's such a beautiful day. Let's let's test out this water. Oh yeah, nice and cold. finish swimming in the ocean I don't really want to film it because it's too wavy you guys are not gonna see anything it's gonna be boring footage but I'm probably gonna go and shower up get ready go out grab a bite to eat and just hang out um, such a beautiful day on the beach here today it was absolutely astounding I love it, it was, this is a really good beach I liked it um, it's really clean you know it's mostly families and uh, yeah it's cool it's close to Miami loving it Guys, I'm literally on the beach right now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, but I'm taking like night photos of the beautiful beach side or whatever. It looks really beautiful here. Um, you guys can see some of the photos here, but I don't know if I got a UFO accidentally on camera. Like I was literally filming those airplanes. We're just taking photos of those airplanes there. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, this like UFO object shows up, like literally shows up out of nowhere. It was kind of weird. Let me show you guys photos of like, when I was taking photos of them, and then photos of the after. Did I just catch a UFO on camera? I really think I did, because it didn't pop up in any of the other pictures, and it totally just disappeared instantly. I wish I got it on video, but honestly, the video wouldn't have captured it. It was just a photo that actually caught that. Y'all don't even know how excited I am to eat food, especially Turkish food. Mm. You guys know I love Turkish food. It's gonna be exciting. It looks like the restaurant is empty, but everybody's just sitting outside, so it's kind of better for me. So I don't look like a loner in here all by myself, you know? Here's a life lesson to you kids. If you can go and eat at a restaurant all by yourself, you're doing something right in life. It really does take a lot of cojones to go to a restaurant all by yourself. Oh my God, this looks so good. It's got some liver. Liver cubes, as we like to call it. This is gonna be so delicious. And I got more food coming. So yeah, this is only the appetizer. Can't forget the yogurt, that beautiful, beautiful yogurt. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be delicious, guys. Told you guys that last meal was just an appetizer. Look at what I just got. I got the mixed grill plate. This thing is massive. We got so much meat. We got doner meat, we got chicken. I think we got more chicken. We got a Dana kebab and we got some meatballs, I guess, and some rice as well. And this is gonna go down really good with this yogurt. Mmm, <laughs> this looks so good.